Sag, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a weekly message for Sagittarius for December 13th through the 19th. This is a general message and will not resonate with every Sagittarius. If it does not resonate, you can go ahead and check other placements in your chart. This is not a uh, Sun, Moon, Venus sign specific read. Any size propensities that you may have in your chart, you may find messages that will resonate with you. Hopefully you do. If you wanted a more personal reading, all that information can be found in the description box as well as pricing. And if you have not done so already, please do subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And we're gonna jump right into your weekly read, Sag Sagittarius, for the sign that one wanted to flip out, so I'll let it go. For the week of December 13th through the 19th. That's funny, I think that's your card. But we're gonna keep shuffling. I'm also gonna pull a Romance Angel Oracle card at the ending, as well as a Animal Wisdom Oracle card, just to further give some more messages and guidance for the week. What else do we have for Sag? Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius. Couple more cards. I just want to get all your cards out so I can get an idea of what's what you're going to be working with. Sagittarius. Okay, who's wanted to come out? These are a lot, but they all flipped out. Okay, I'll take them. There are only two extra. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So you guys could be feeling independent, really on top of your game, really have your finances down pat, really have your household down pat, feeling good, smelling good, looking good. Or someone is looking at you this way, potentially. But really good um, bottom deck in to have. Okay, so at your crowning energy, you have the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles speaks to coming together to collaborate with other people, either one other person or a group of people, um, for a mutual, basically, um, an outcome, basically, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a project, a job, whether it's helping your kids with homework. This is collaborating with other people, coming together, cooperating in order to build something together with someone else. That is your crowning energy. Next card out, we have Sagittarius energy. So coming in strong, the temperance card. Um, this could have been something that um, needed balancing in the past, something that needed patience, something that definitely the divine and um, the universe had a lot of um, handle in, I guess, a divinely guided situation, um, a destined situation. Um, something that needed to be balanced out or there is something that needs to be balanced out that will be getting to be balanced out this week for you, Satch. Maybe, you know, collaborating, whatever collabor whatever it is you're collaborating on or joining forces with someone on, it's going to be helping you balance out yourself, a situation, a project, whatever it is. But patience was definitely needed. Next card out, Central Energy, you have the King of Pentacles. So this could be someone that you're dealing with, or this could be your energy. But the King of Pentacles is um, the slow, methodical type of personality, someone that does not make hasty decisions, someone that cuts a, a million times, or I should say measures a million times and only cuts once because they don't like failure. They want to make sure that all the T's are dotted, crossed and all the I's are dotted, right? They don't make rash decisions. And these type of people are very stable because you know that whatever decision that they do end up making, it is one that's going to be solid and it is going to last because there was so much time and thought put into the, the, the decision making. But um, that could also mean that it takes a very long time for this person to make moves, right? If this, if this is someone that you're trying to collaborate with, whether it's a boss, a coworker, a friend, family member, or a partner in a romantic situation, if this is someone that you want to collaborate with, right? It might've taken a very long time with this type of personality. Might have waited a very long time. Definitely patience was needed in this situation for things to balance out because this person, you know, they don't, they don't move swift. But it looks like that might be changing because next we have the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands does speak to very fast movement, things moving forward. It also could be Cupid's arrows. Also could be messaging, um, messages, texts, information coming towards you that will be useful. Maybe will help you move forward in whatever it is you're trying to build, either with this um, King of Pentacles energy. 
whether that's you or this person that's waiting on you or has been waiting on you or has needed patience or has exuded patience towards you. Um, but maybe things are finally getting to move forward now. Definitely moving forward quickly. Could be also traveling by air, um, going on a weekend trip. Could be traveling by car. Someone's getting in their car to come see you, but things can now move forward. This is movement in whatever aspect you've needed things to be, in, in whatever, wherever things were still or stagnant, definitely going to be some movement. And it is, as I said, right next to this slow guy. So if you were waiting on this type of energy, if there's someone in your life, whether romantic, a boss, a, you know, a friend, um, you, got, you were waiting on, on them to get something going, it looks like it's going to be moving forward now very fast and things are well about on their way. But maybe you're now guarded, right? You've been, you may be a little peeved that you've had to wait so long because this is, you have the eight of wands and now this is the nine of wands. So a lot of fiery energy Definitely something you feel passionate about, someone you feel passionate about, but you maybe have been tired of waiting. Definitely had to exude a lot of patience here, right? Divine timing had to be in play. Things had to be set up the right way. Nothing happens before it's time. But even though you are um, a little peed, I think you are still, you know, you're still willing to work on it. Or this person, whoever this is for you, is still willing to work on whatever this is pertaining to whether this is a work project or a relationship or, you know, an issue that you've had. But you did get two extra cards and you got the Empress card and the Chariot. So absolutely moving forward, moving forward, being being synchronized, being on the same path, being in alignment because the Chariot can only move forward if both of these, I guess, what are they? lions drawing the chariot forward are synchronized in order to move forward okay another major arcana could also be dealing with a cancer could have cancer in your cart your chart so whatever it is that you're, you've been wanting to work on build or if this is someone that's been wanting to work on and build something with you and they've been very stagnant in the past non non-moving they're moving forward really super fast now super fast movement movement Everything is now aligned. Divine timing is now in order. Now is the time for the movement to happen. Okay? And whatever it is that you are trying to build, it's going to be abundant. It's going to be fruitful. Maybe some of you are getting pregnant. Coming together with someone else to create another. You know, if it's a work project, it's going to take off you can finally get it off the ground you can launch it right if it's a business if it's a you know anything whatever it's pertaining to empress speaks to fertility abundance things being able to grow anything she puts her hands on it grows whether it's a baby you know whether it's a household whether it's a garden whether it's a business growth and expansion so if things were stagnant before and held up, that's now coming to an end. Moving forward, things are aligned. The time is now. Divine timing was at play. Things had to be balanced. But now seems to be the time for you, Sagittarius. Let's pull you a animal spirit card. What else do we have for Sagittarius? Okay. Flew out, turtle spirit, slow and steady wins the race. Can't make this up. Slow and steady wins the race, Edge. Whatever it is that was taking long, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a project, whether it's a business that you started, that you felt like, you know, you should have been doing moving faster. Nope. Divine timing. Everything happens at the time it's supposed to happen. You are right where you need to be. And if this is someone that you've been waiting for to build a life with, a relationship with, slow and steady wins the race. Time is just a, a perception of us human beings, right? You'd rather have something when it's ready than before it's ready. No matter how hungry you are, you aren't going to go and eat raw chicken. You're going to sit there and wait till it's cooked, even if you have to eat something beforehand, right? Because you know raw chicken is no, it's no good for you. You'd rather wait for the cooked chicken. It tastes better. Slow and steady wins the race. Let's pull your romance angel oracle for Sagittarius. But it's ready to move now. 
that wanted to come up. Movement is coming, Sag. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. What is this one? Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I think this is speaking to the fact that you wanted things to move forward a lot faster than they were supposed to. Based on your thoughts, right? Your expectations for yourself. Religious factors. I mean, it could also be religious factors as well, but I personally think it's your thoughts, your mentality, the way you look at yourself, the way you look at life, your expectations of yourself. You know, you wanted to do things at a certain pace and sometimes that's not necessarily how it has to happen. Almost all the time, that's not usually how it has to happen. We can't see with the bigger picture, right? A lot of the times. So whatever standards or thoughts or, or negative beliefs that, you know, put you in this type of energy or the person you're dealing with from waiting thinking that things should have been moving a lot a lot faster that's just your perception so switching your perception easily fixes that for you and an unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep your religion your relationship going i think this is also you know things we tell ourselves what we think of ourselves, the expectations we have of ourselves, the standards we hold ourselves and other people to, or sometimes, you know, just being impatient, thinking, okay, this is taking too long. It might not, it's not, it's not meant to be. Okay. This, this business should have been launched two years ago and it's still not launched. That means it shouldn't be launched. Nope. That's just your perception. The perception needs to change. Your thought pattern needs to change. Slow and steady wins the race. All right, divine timing was at play. It wasn't the time yet, but it's the time now. It's the time now, movement forward, fertility. It's time to build. All right, Sagittarius, those are the messages I have for you. Hopefully you found them helpful. If you did, thumbs up this video for me. And until next time, 